All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Portofino. So Portofino is a small fishing town that's been here since the 12th century. It used to belong to Genoa, which was independent, and Florence, which is French, and it changed hands a few times, but now obviously it's part of Italy. In the late 19th century, first British, then other European aristocratic tourists began to visit Portofino, which they reached by horse and cart. Aubrey Herbert and Elizabeth von Arnhem were amongst the more famous British people to make the area fashionable. Eventually, more expatriates built expensive holiday houses, and by 1950, tourism had replaced fishing as the town's chief industry, and the waterfront was a continuous ring of restaurants and cafes. Today, it is a popular destination for billionaires, including many super yacht owners. It's about 25 miles southeast from Genoa, so I drove down here today. Uh, I did not come solely to look at this beautiful town, village. Um, I came down to chase a super yacht. Uh, it was actually in Molo Vecchio Marina in Genoa yesterday and I missed it. I didn't, I saw it, I saw it leave and I just didn't have, I just didn't have time to get down there and I saw that it came to Portofino so I chased that down here in my car um, and we're gonna go and check it out. Let's go. Before we get onto the boat, I just want to say one of the problems with Portofino is it's such a beautiful place that it's, a, it's kind of a victim of its own success in that uh, there's only one road, which is this road that I'm on right now, uh, that, that leads to it, to and from. Uh, so all of the traffic of all, all those people that want to go there, like me, I'm included, we all go along this same road, right? So if you hear noises in the background, it's the traffic from this road. It's a very busy road, unfortunately, there's nowhere else I can go. All right, guys, so let's get onto the boat. That boat out there is, can you guess? It is Planet Nine. If you've seen the film Tenet, which I haven't, you might recognize this boat because it was in that film, it was featured in that film. I've actually talked about Planet Nine before. Uh, it was a few years ago, it was when it first launched. I saw it in Cannes in the south of France and I made a video about it then. I got very little footage. I was basically passing by on another yacht but I found the, the, the general arrangement or the blueprints of that boat and I made a video, kind of like the one I did of Andromeda. So if you, if you enjoy the Andromeda video where I looked at in depth at the, the, the actual plans of that vessel, then I will put a link in all of the normal places so you can go and watch that video. So one of the big features that this boat has is it has an ice rated hull. We talked about this recently with the boat yacht Ragnar uh, so I'm not going to go into it in too much detail. If you want to know more about the ice rating, you can actually go and watch the video that I already made of this boat a few years ago, or you can watch the video about Ragnar because I talk about the way an ice rated hull works, etc., and what it's used for. Uh, the other feature, the other big feature this boat has, which is only usually found on a boat that's much bigger than this, is it has a commercially rated helicopter landing pad. On top of the landing pad, it actually has an aircraft hangar underneath. So basically what happens is they, they open the top of the, the hatch there, the, the elevator comes up, the helicopter lands on board, then they stow the rotors, and then the helicopter goes down on the elevator inside, and then the doors close on top. Why would they do that? They do that for obviously protecting it from the ocean, you know, salt water it kills anything over time. Also, um, it stows it for passages. Like if you're going across the Atlantic, you don't want to leave that helicopter outside really, if you can help it. One of the other problems with leaving the helicopter up there as well is that, is that that is a, you know, that's a, a heavy helicopter. So what you want to do is you want to lower that center of gravity to stop the boat from rolling side to side when you're in heavy seas. So taking that helicopter down inside of the hangar that lowers that center of gravity of the boat, makes the boat more stable. They also have refueling facilities in there, 
so they can they can run that helicopter indefinitely. So it is available for charter, Planet Nine, as you've seen in the movie. Obviously, they chartered it. I wonder how long they chartered it for, but because the chart the rate for chartering this vessel is about seven hundred thousand euros a week. So to make a movie. I bet they had it for a while. So the vessel has a maximum speed of 16 knots, uh, a cruising speed of 14 knots, and at that cruising speed it has a range of 6,000 nautical miles, which is very impressive for a yacht of this size. Oh, there's one other thing. Uh, the vessel is for sale. Now, in the video I made in 2018, uh, it just been delivered this boat and it was for sale straight away and uh, it's been for sale ever since. So they're obviously trying to sell it, nobody's buying it. The, the price of this vessel is 85 million euros. Would you rather have Motoyot Soaring, which is brand new by the way, or would you ha rather have Planet Nine? Let me know in the comments which one you'd rather have. Motoyot Soaring is for sale for 105 million euros. I think I'd rather have Planet Nine. Ice rated hull, helicopter landing pad, refueling, it has a 120 inch cinema screen, it has a cinema by the way, with a 120 inch screen in there, uh, LED television. Apparently, apparently it has uh, noisy, apparently it has state of the art uh, AV systems on board. It says it has Apple AV systems on board. Now I've, I love Apple, I'm an Apple user, but in regards to yachts being set up with Apple equipment, every one I've worked on has been a disaster. So. I'm not sure how I feel about that. If it's just like the cinema that has Apple stuff in there, then that's fine. But if it's the whole boat, then it, yeah, I'd have to check out that system seriously and to make sure it was working properly. Because the boats I've worked on that have had Apple systems in the past, have not worked. So another thing this has, which is unusual again for a vessel of this size, is it has a beach club. Now, a beach club is something that usually sits at the stern of the ship where you would normally keep your tenders. And sometimes the beach club doubles as a tender garage. Uh, if you remember the video I made about Queen Mary, the beach club was surrounding that tender garage, which was effectively turned into a pool as well. So the, it could be a seawater pool, or they could open the back and, and they could drive that tender straight in. But this has a beach club, which is, like I said, very unusual for a vessel of this size. Uh, I've got some uh, footage of Moji Yacht Faith, which is just out of shot over there. The beach club on, on Moji Yacht Faith is very impressive. And uh, so th this has something similar to that. But remember, Faith is a 97 meter boat. And Faith has also has a aircraft hangar on, uh, below the heli deck and a beach club, but it doesn't have an ice rate at all. One of the things I love about this, about Planet Nine is the interior. Very often you'll see these boats and they have quite specific or quite particular interiors. And that obviously that makes sense because if you build your own boat, remember these all, all these boats are one of one. So if you build your own boat, you're gonna build it to exactly how you want to have the interior. And most of them you're like, oh, you know, like on Ragnar, there was some stuff in there. And I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe, maybe not. I might change that. But on this boat, this boat has a, extremely modern interior made a great use of the LED lighting the interior on this boat I don't think I would change a thing because it just looks fantastic um, so yeah that's unusual to find a boat that has the exact interior that I might fit myself but yeah I'm really impressed with the interior really uh, really like this boat I say that I'm starting to realize I start to say that about every boat aren't I but I do really like this boat I love the gray hull on it as well which is unusual and it's a big difference from the white normally or the, you know you see a lot quite a lot with blue now but this has the gray hull which looks great probably not so great for the people who have to clean it but uh, I still like it but let me know if you if you're if you think differently if you'd rather have soaring or another boat of similar size uh, put it put a comment in, in the comment section below I hope you enjoyed this video absolutely love Portofino uh, I'm definitely going to be coming back here because it is absolutely amazing. If Faith is still here next time, I'll do another video on Faith because it's been here all week. But uh, like I said, I just did I just did a video a couple of uh, a couple of videos back where I talked about it, and Planet Nine is one that I haven't featured for quite a while. If, like I said, if you if you want to check out the the video I did with the general arrangement or the or the plans 
uh, of the boat on deck by deck I did that video I'll put a link in the description and a link all in all those places um, so anyway I'm gonna round up there well, thanks very much for watching guys be sure to subscribe if you haven't already be sure to like the video because it really helps get the video promoted and get it get it pushed out to other people so they, they uh, will join us in in what in looking at these great uh, boats so thanks very much for watching guys and I'll catch you next time Bye.